Steve Brough, I've been playing for 24 years. We're at AGA Farms. They've been doing pumpkins and Christmas trees here for decades, and it's a family farm. That's how we discovered this place. So we shortened the pumpkin patches, we shortened the cornfields, we kind of shaped our fairways and planted professional turf grass on 16 and 18 holes. The steel club is gonna be able to score much easier. It's bigger shots, it's much more open, where here you're kind of forced to play certain shots. When Steve was designing the course, he wanted to try to take a little bit from a lot of different places and putting it into this course, take the best of everywhere and put it into here. Every hole here is birdieable, but every hole here is bogeyable. Don't bite off more than you can chew. It'll bite you. It'll bite you here at AGA if you start thinking that you can attack. When you throw a great shot, it feels amazing. I mean, anybody else that's here can tell you that when you let that disc go, and it just pops off like that. It looks beautiful. And then when you're in the fairway, it feels great. And the same thing can happen up at Steel Club. It's the same thing. When you throw a great drive at Steel Club, it feels good and it looks good. Shot selection at AGA is going to be huge. I would advise anybody who's playing in the event to get your practice rounds in. It's really about it, is getting out here and getting a couple reps in, really figuring out where you want to be on your drive. The courses will speak for themselves. I think that the courses are worth playing. We think we've set up courses that can challenge the best. That was the end result, was making this course ready for the Lost Valley Open.